one of the reoccurring problems we have in astronomy is dealing with distances. On the Earth, using meters and miles works out really well. We kind of have a feel for what a meter or a mile is, and therefore we can kind of get an idea for distances using those measures. However, once we start getting out to stuff in space, these things are so far away that using meters and miles just doesn't make that much sense anymore. The numbers get so large that they begin to be hard to handle. So because of that, in astronomy, we actually use much larger units of measure. And so for things that are within our solar system, the preferred unit is the astronomical unit or the AU. The astronomical unit is defined as the average distance from the Earth to the Sun. So in other words, the Sun is about 1 AU from the Earth. With that 1 is a really nice number to work with. This means the planets that are closer to the Sun are at less than 1 AU. Planets that are farther from the Sun are at more than 1 AU. So Venus is somewhere around uh, 0.7 AU from the Sun. Jupiter is around 5 AU. Neptune, the planet farthest from the Sun, is around 30 AU. All of these numbers are really nice to work with. So when dealing in with things within our own solar system, we like to use the AU, the astronomical unit, because it makes the math really nice and easy to work out. Now, uh, once we get beyond our own solar system, then the uh, distances between things become so large that even an AU doesn't make any sense. So instead, we now use light years or parsecs. Hey, um, you're probably already familiar with a light year. The definition for a light year is the distance that light can travel in a single year. So you time light for a year, figure out how far it's gone. That is one light year. That's not actually what we do because those distances are huge. But we can figure out exactly how far light can travel in a year. That is a light year. Now, another unit of measure that we use is the parsec. Now, to actually understand what a parsec is, we need to have a little bit more understanding. First, we need to understand angular measure. So what we've gone through already with AU and light year, that is linear measure. It's how far between two things are. But in astronomy, we don't always know exactly how far away things are, but we can start to describe their positions using angular measure. What is the angular distance between two stars or two objects? The basic unit of angular measure is the degree, and there are 360 degrees in one circle. Now, a single degree is actually still really large, so we want to make it smaller. So the way we do that is we take the degree and then we split it into 60 smaller pieces. One sixtieth of a degree is what we refer to as an arc minute or minute of arc. And so there are 60 arc minutes in a degree. Now, if you remember time, how many minutes are in an hour? There are 60 minutes in an hour. So just like there are 60 minutes in an hour, there are 60 arc minutes in a degree. Now, even an arc minute is often too large, so we want to make it smaller. So what are we going to do? That's right. We're going to split that up into 60 smaller pieces, too. So we take one arc minute, split it up into 60 smaller pieces, and that is what we refer to as an arc second or second of arc. So just like there are 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour, there are 60 arc seconds in an arc minute, and there are 60 arc minutes in a degree. So all of that intuition you have based off of time, you can actually apply to arc minutes, arc seconds, and degrees. Now again, this is describing angular measure. What is the angle between two stars as measured from your point of view? So with this understanding of what an arc second is, so remember, an arc second is 1 36 hundredth of a degree. In other words, it is super tiny. The other piece that we need to understand for a parsec is the idea of parallax. Now, to best understand parallax, the, uh, it is best done by using a quick demonstration. Okay, so hold up one finger close to your face and another one kind of in line but farther away. Make sure that you can see both fingers. Now look through your right eye 
and then through your left eye. If you're able to wink and just close one eye, go ahead and do so. If not, just try and pay attention to the difference between your two fingers. Okay, so try and blink back and forth and notice what's happening to your fingers. As you do this, notice that it appears that your fingers are moving. Now, your fingers are not actually moving, well, unless you're wiggling them, hopefully you're not, but it appears that your fingers are moving. Now, the reason that it appears that way is because of a change in perspective. Because you have a different perspective, you're seeing from one side of your face compared to the other side of your face, it appears that your fingers are moving. This is the idea of parallax. Now, when doing this experiment, the whole reason I had you do two fingers, one closer and one farther, notice how the distance affects how much they move. Do Go ahead and do it again. Which finger moves more? Does the close finger move more or does the far finger move more? Hey, well, notice that the closer finger moves more. So we can actually get this idea that there's a relationship between the distance away that an object is and how much it appears to move as we, the observer, change positions or change point of view. This is the idea of parallax. The farther away the object is, the less it actually appears to move. Well, we can use this idea to figure out distances. So with all of this information, we can now define a parsec. A parsec is the distance an object is if it appears to shift by one arc second as the Earth goes around the Sun. So as we get a change of point of view of 2 AU, we actually split it in half, so it's only 1 AU, but as we get a change in position of 1 AU, if the object appears to shift by one arc second, then it is defined as one parsec away. Now, Astronomers actually prefer parsecs over light years because it's an exact geometric measurement. In other words, it gives us a much better idea of exactly how far away it is. But because the definition is kind of mathy and you kind of have to understand the physics of what's going on, in general, we often just convert to light years. So one parsec is about 3.26 light years long. A parsec is actually longer than a light year. So when we are dealing with things outside of our solar system, like to the nearest star, we prefer to use light years or parsecs.